The Malaysian Expressway System is a network of national controlled access expressways in Malaysia that forms the primary backbone network of Malaysian national highways. The network begins with the North-South Expressway, and is currently in the process of being substantially developed. Malaysian expressways are built by private companies under the supervision of the Government Highway Authority, Malaysian Highway Authority in Malay. Overview The expressway network of Malaysia is considered the best expressway network in Southeast Asia and also in Asia after China and Japan and also the fifth in the world. There were 30 expressways in the country and the total length is 1,821 km and another 219.3 km is still under construction. The closed toll expressway system is similar to the Japanese expressway system and Chinese expressway system. All Malaysian toll expressways are controlled access highway and managed in the build-operate transfer system. Malaysian expressways exist in both West Malaysia and East Malaysia, however, the former are better connected. The North-South Expressway passes through all the major cities and conurbations in West Malaysia, such as Penang, Ipoh, the Klang Valley and Johor Bahru. The Panbonio Highway connects the Malaysian states of Sabah and Sarawak with Brunei. Equals Malaysian Expressways as a part of Asian Highway Network equals. A few major expressways in Malaysia are part of the larger Asian Highway Network. The Asian Highway Network is an international project between Asian nations to develop their highway systems, which will form main routes in the network. There are currently seven Asian Highway routes passing through Malaysia, Asian Highway Route 2, along the North-South Expressway and, Asian Highway Route 18, along the Federal Route 3, Asian Highway Route 140, along the Federal Route 4 and butterworth Kulim Expressway, Asian Highway Route 141, consists of New Klang Valley Expressway, Duta Yulaklang Expressway, Kuala Lumpur Middle Ring Road 2, Kuala Lumpur Karak Expressway, East Coast Expressway and Chibeng Bypass, Asian Highway Route 142, along the MEC Highway, Tun Razak Highway and Federal Route 1, Asian Highway Route 143, along the Second Link Expressway, Asian Highway Route 150, along the Pan Bonio Highway. AH2 border crossing dispute, the status of the route alignment of the Asian highway crossing the Malaysia-Singapore border is currently being disputed. Malaysia had commissioned the second link expressway as part of to maintain the primary access controlled highway status of the route. Meanwhile, Singapore had commissioned the Jawa singapore Causeway and the Bukit Timur Expressway as part of, as the Jawa singapore Causeway is the main gateway to Singapore from Malaysia which could mean that the Skdi Highway would be included in the route alignment instead of the Second Link Expressway. Later, the Second Link Expressway, the Air Raja Expressway, Marina Coastal Expressway and Kalang Pai Lebar Expressway were later gazetted as Asian Highway. History equals Interstate equals Before told expressways were introduced in the mid-1970s, most Malaysians travelled around Peninsula Malaysia on federal roads. The major reasons for building new expressways in Malaysia are the increasing number of vehicles along federal routes, the opening of major ports and airports in Malaysia, and the increasing population in major cities and towns of Malaysia. In the year 1966, the Highway Planning Unit was established under the Ministry of Works and Communications. The first tolled highway in Malaysia was the 20 km Tinjung Malam Slim River Toll Road which was opened to traffic on March 16, 1966. It saved journey time by half an hour, and cars were charged 50 sen, buses and lorries room 1 and motorcycles 20 sen however, in 1994, with the completion of the North-South Expressway, the toll plaza was removed and it became a toll-free highway. In the year 1970, the first comprehensive five-year road development program was formulated by the Highway Planning Unit, which included expanding rural roads and plans to construct three new highways linking the east and west coasts. On March 27, 1974, the Kuala Lumpur Seremban Expressway was constructed. Funded by a loan by the World Bank, the 63.4 km expressway was constructed in three phases. The first phase was from Kuala Lumpur to Nilai, while the second phase was from Nilai to Seremban. 
The third phase was the rehabilitation of the old Federal Route 1 from Kuala Lumpur to Seremban as a toll-free alternative to motorists. The completion of the Kuala Lumpur Seremban Expressway on June 1977 marking the first step towards the construction of the new interstate expressway known as North-South Expressway. The Kuala Lumpur Karak Highway was built between 1976 and 1979. Meanwhile, the 900M Genting Semper Tunnel was the first highway tunnel in Malaysia, constructed between 1977 and 1979. The tunnel was officially opened in 1979 by the then Minister of Works and Communications, Dato Abdul Ghani Gilong. The first sections of the North-South Expressway were the toll sections of the Kuala Lumpur Seremban Expressway from Sungai Besi to Labu Toll Plazas, which was opened on June 16, 1982. The next sections were Bikit Kau Hitam Jitra and Sinai Jabaru stretches opened in 1985. Then the Apo Changkot Jering and Seremban Air Karo stretches, which were opened to traffic in 1986. However, on October 1, 1987 the closed toll system came into force along the Kuala Lumpur Air Karo and Apo Changkot Jering stretches. The Air Karo Pago stretch on the North-South Expressway was opened to traffic in 1988. All sections of the North-South Expressway were completed and officially opened on September 8, 1994 by the former Prime Minister of Malaysia, Tun Drive Mahathir Mohamad. Other interstate expressway projects in Malaysia are North-South Expressway Central Link, East Coast Expressway and Kajang Seremban Highway. Because of a massive traffic jam on the North-South Expressway southern route between Seremban and Nalayan Nediri Sembilan, a new bypass expressway named for Royce and Awang KLIA Expressway was proposed on 2013 to help reduce the traffic jams at the area. The Phase 2 of the East Coast Expressway linking Jaba and Kuala Terengganu was completed on January 31, 2015, thus completing the alignment of the East Coast Expressway from Kuala Lumpur to Kuala Terengganu. The new project in the west coast of Peninsula Malaysia West Coast Expressway has now unveiled by the government. Construction of the 233.0 km expressway linking Banting, Selanga and Taping, Parak will start on the year 2015. Equals Greater Kuala Lumpur Klang Valley equals. The history of the highways in the Klang Valley started after the separation of Singapore from Malaysia on August 9, 1965 when the Malaysian government decided to make Port Swetnam Malaysia's new national port as a replacement for Singapore. As a result, the government planned to build a first highway in Klang Valley known as Federal Highway connecting Port Swetnam to Kuala Lumpur in the 1960s. In 1967, the 45 km Federal Highway, the first dual carriageway highway in Malaysia was opened to traffic. In the early 1990s the federal government decided to build more expressways and highways in Klang Valley because of the increasing size and population of the Klang Valley conurbation, development of new townships and industrial estates, and the massive traffic jams along Federal Highway. The new Klang Valley Expressway, which was opened in 1990, is the second link to Kuala Lumpur from Klang after Federal Highway. In 1997, North-South Expressway Central Link which is the main link to Kuala Lumpur International Airport was open to traffic. Other expressway projects in Klang Valley are Shah Alam Expressway, Damans Rapachong Expressway, Sprint Expressway, New Pantai Expressway, Smart Tunnel, KLKLIA Dedicated Expressway or Kuala Lumpur Pubjajna Expressway, and Duta Yulaklang Expressway. In addition to Kuala Lumpur Inner Ring Road there's the Inner Ring Road in Kuala Lumpur, Kuala Lumpur Middle Ring Road 1, Kuala Lumpur Western Northern Dispersal Link Scheme, and Kuala Lumpur Middle Ring Road 2 also act as middle ring roads of the city. Kuala Lumpur Kuala Selangor Expressway, Kajang Dispersal Link Expressway, South Klang Valley Expressway and the planning Kuala Lumpur Outer Ring Road may form the outer ring roads of Kuala Lumpur. Following the formation of the Greater Kuala Lumpur in the early 2010s, Many expressways and highways will be built in the Greater Kuala Lumpur under the Economic Transformation Program. These are the Bezrai Extension Expressway, Damansra Shah Alam Elevated Expressway, Sungai Besi Yulaklang Elevated Expressway, 
East Klang Valley Expressway which will be part of the Kuala Lumpur Outer Ring Road System, Sri Damansra Link and Tum Razak Link of the Duta Ulak Lang Expressway, Kinrara Damansra Expressway and Sedang Kinrara Pubjajna Expressway. However, the proposed Kinrara Damansra Expressway project was officially scrapped by the Selanga state government due to the several protests by the local Petal and Jara citizens. Equals Penang equals. The history of highways in Penang began in the 1970s when the federal government decided to build the Penang Bridge, connecting Sebarang Pirai and Penang Island. The construction of Penang Bridge began in 1982 and was completed in 1985. This bridge was officially opened on September 14, 1985 by then Malaysian Prime Minister Tun Drive Mahathir Mohamad. The main reasons for constructing new expressways in Penang are the increasing population of Georgetown and Butterworth since the Penang Bridge was opened. Many townships have been built in Penang and new industrial estates have sprung up in areas such as Bayan Lepas and Pirai. Other expressway projects in Penang are the Butterworth Kulim Expressway, the Butterworth Outer Ring Road, the Jelutong Expressway and the Penang Second Bridge. The Penang Second Bridge officially named as Sultan Abdul Halim Muadzam Shah Bridge, was officially opened on March 1, 2014 by the Malaysian Prime Minister Najib Tun Razak. This bridge is currently the longest bridge in Southeast Asia. Equals Iskander Malaysia Jalabaru equals. The history of highways in Jalabaru started in the 1980s when the city of Jalabaru became a main southern international gateway to Malaysia from Singapore after the separation of Singapore from Malaysia on August 9, 1965. The main reasons for building expressways in Jalabaru are the increasing size of the Jalabaru metropolitan area since it achieved city status on January 1, 1994 and the formation of the South Jawa Economic Region or Iskander Development Region on July 30, 2006. Many townships have been constructed around Jalabaru and industrial estates have been developed in areas such as Sinai, Skdi, Tibrau, Basir Gudang and Tampui. The first highway in Jalabaru was Skdi Highway linking Sinai to Jawa Causeway, which was completed in 1985 and it was the first toll highway in Jalabaru. However the toll plaza near Sinai was abolished in 2004. Kempis Highway, the only state road in Malaysia constructed as a two-lane highway was completed in 1994. The Malaysia-Singapore Second Crossing, which is the second link to Singapore after Jawa Causeway, was opened to traffic on April 18, 1998. Other expressway projects in Jalabaru are Sinai Desara Expressway linking Sinai in the west to Desara and east coast of Jawa, the Jalabaru Eastern Dispersal Link Expressway which linking Pandan Interchange of the North-South Expressway to the new Sultan Iskander CIQ building and city centre, the Iskander Coastal Highway linking Nuzajaya in the west to the city centre in the east and the Jalabaru East Coast Highway linking Kampung Bakal Bachu passing through Permas Jaya. Taman Rinting and finally towards Faisir Gudang. In addition to Jalabaru Inner Ring Road there's the Inner Ring Road in Jalabaru, Faisir Gudang Highway, Second Link Expressway and Jalabaru Parkway also act as middle ring roads of the city. Second Link Expressway and the Sinai Desara Expressway may form the outer ring roads of Jalabaru. Equals East Malaysia equals the history of highways in East Malaysia started in the 1960s when the federal government decided to build the Pan Bonyo Highway, linking Sarawak and Sabah State. The Pan Bonyo Highway project is a joint project between the governments of Brunei and Malaysia. The project started as soon as Sarawak and Sabah joined the Federation of Malaysia in 1963. The lack of a road network system in Sarawak was the main factor of the construction. There are one toll expressway, one toll federal highway and one toll state highway in Sarawak, the Tan Salahuddin Bridge in Kuching City, the Miri Baram Highway in Miri Division, and the Lanang Bridge in Saibu. The Tan Salahuddin Bridge is the first and currently the only toll expressway in East Malaysia. On March 31, 2015, the dual carriageway toll free Pan Bonyo Expressway in Sarawak is officially unveiled by the federal government. The highway project will be implemented with Habula Bonio Utero SDNBHD as the project delivery partner managing and supervising its construction. Expressway Standards The construction, standards, 
management and usage of expressways in Malaysia are subject to Federal Roads Act 1984. In Malaysia, expressways are defined as high-speed routes with at least four lanes and should have full access control or partial access control. Most expressways in Malaysia are controlled access expressways. Expressways are defined as high-speed highways built under the JKRA 6 Rural Highway Standard, as dual carriageways of at least four lanes with full access control, grade separated interchanges and high design speed limit of 120 km per hour, allowing a maximum speed limit of 110 km per hour. However, the section between Kahayabaru and Panawa of the Sinai Desara Expressway is built as a two-lane single carriageway with the similar features as the Swiss Autostrasse, making it as the first true two-lane controlled access expressway in Malaysia followed by the section of Teluk Pang Lima Garang and Pulau Inda of the South Klang Valley Expressway. All expressways are considered federal highways, but administered by Malaysian Highway Authority and the respective concessionaire companies. Highways, on the other hand, complement the national network of expressways and federal roads and built under the JKRA 5 Rural Highway Standard, with relatively high design speed limit of 100 km per hour, allowing the maximum speed limit of 90 km per hour. The highways are built with partial access control, and grade separated interchanges and at grade crossings are both permitted. However, it is possible for a federal or state highway to be built with almost equivalent standard of an expressway with the exception of lower speed limit, for example the federal highway. Highways can be built either as dual carriageway or two-lane single carriageway. Before the mid-1990s, there were no specific coding system for the expressways. When more and more expressways were built, a system of expressway numbering was applied to all expressways. Expressways are labeled with the letter E followed by assigned numbers, for example the code for North-South Expressway Southern Routes is. The expressways have green signs and the text color is white. However, there are some exceptions in some highways. Some highways like Federal Highway and Skdi Highway retain their federal route codes. In addition, there are some highways in Malaysia which are classified as municipal roads such as Kuala Lumpur Middle Ring Road 1. The syntax for highway exits in Malaysia is in the format exit XXNN or exit XXNN, where XX is the expressway code number and NN is the two-digit assigned number for each highway exit. For example, Jabaru exit at the end of North-South Expressway is labeled exit 257, where the last two digits are the assigned exit number and the first digit is the expressway route number. Meanwhile, Jalan Tempelo exit at the Federal Highway is labeled Exit 224, where the two digits are the assigned exit number and the first digit is the Federal route number. Expressways have distance markers in green color placed every 100 m. Equals Expressways Highways Route Number Categories Equals Expressway Route Numbers Federal Route Numbers For more information, please refer to road signs in Malaysia. Most expressways are paved with typical tarmac, which is a mixture of fine stone chips and tar. However, some expressways are paved with concrete such as North-South Expressway Northern Route, New Klang Valley Expressway, North-South Expressway Southern Route, Smart Tunnel and Skdi Ponchan Highway. Meanwhile, at Federal Highway linking Klang to Kuala Lumpur, the section of the expressway from Subang Jaya to Kopidara Lisan near Petaling Jaya is paved with asphalt. Expressway monitoring and maintenance. Equals monitoring equals. Since 1986, Malaysian expressways have been built by private companies under the supervision of the Government Highway Authority, Lembaga Buru Malaysia. Every private concession company, such as Plus Expressways, ANIH Berhad and the others have monitored and maintained their expressways. Equals maintenance equals. Proj Kpenia Lengera and Bula Bahadur Propel has undertaken repair and maintenance works on highway facilities, such as road works and repair works, road line painting, cleaning works on laybys and rest and service areas, trimming grass and landscaping along expressway areas, installing road furniture, and others. Meanwhile, the Propel Response Team Unit is a special response team unit. The Karak Expressway and East Coast Expressway are maintained by Alloy Consolidated SDNBHD. Equals traffic management equals, 
Since late 2006, every expressway in Malaysia has been monitored by the Malaysian Highway Authority Traffic Management Centre. However, in some parts of Klang Valley, the expressways are monitored by the Integrated Transport Information System. Expressways in Georgetown, Penang are monitored by the Penang Island City Council. Malaysian Highway Authority Traffic Information Page Toll System equals Types of toll systems equals, Every expressway and highway in Malaysia has a toll system, which is either a closed toll system or open toll system. All transactions are in Malaysian ringgit. Open system, users only have to pay at certain toll plazas within the open system range for a fixed amount. Closed system, users collect toll tickets before entering the expressway at respective toll plazas and pay an amount of toll at the exit toll plaza plus the distance from the plaza to the limit of maintenance responsibility. The toll rate in this system is based on the distance traveled. Starting June 18, 2013, the PLUS Transit Reusable Transit Cards has been implemented at all PLUS Expressways network to replace the transit ticket. Equals electronic toll collection equals, there are two types of the electronic toll collection systems, Touch and Go Card Unit and Smart TAG Onboard Unit. Touch and Go and Smart TAG have been made compulsory in all expressways since July 1, 2004, following the instruction of the Works Minister, to Tyke Siri S. Sami Valu. Other electronic payment systems that were previously used by other highway operators such as PLUS TAG for all PLUS Expressways Network, Express TAG for Shah Alam Expressway, Fast Track for Damans Rapachong Expressway and Sprint Expressway and Saga Tag in Sharas, Kajang Expressway, were abolished in a move to standardize the electronic payment method. Equals Multilane Free Flow equals the multi-lane free flow is an electronic toll collection system that allows free flow high-speed tolly system highway for all its users. With MLFF, the current toll lanes at toll plazas will be replaced with readers at gantry across the highway to detect vehicle and deduct toll using the existing electronic toll collection when fully implemented. The Malaysian Highway Authority is planning to implement MLFF system at all highways in stages starting 2010. Equals toll rebate equals, beginning September 1, 2009, the 20% rebate given to motorists who pay toll charges more than 80 times a month, can be saved for up to 6 months. The rebate can be redeemed at 126 locations which would be announced in due time. Equals Malaysian Expressway Toll Rate Classes equals. There are fixed toll rate classes for every Malaysian expressway except for the Penang Bridge and the Smart Tunnel where toll rates are not the same. Toll rate classes for every expressway in Malaysia. Toll rate classes for Penang Bridge. Toll rate classes for Smart Tunnel. Facilities on Malaysian expressways, there are several facilities provided along Malaysian expressway as follows. Rest and service area Euro rest and service areas are located roughly about every 60 km along interstate expressways such as the North-South Expressway and the East Coast Expressway. However, some urban expressways may also provide a RSA, such as the Shah Alam Expressway, the Damansara Pachong Expressway and the Guthrie Corridor Expressway. A typical RSA may have a food court, fruit stall, craft shop, public toilets and baths public telephones, huts, petrol stations and prayer rooms for Muslims. Some RSAs may have ATMs, motels like Highway Inn, convenience shops such as Highway Mart and 7-Eleven, fast food restaurants and a food court. The wireless broadband internet facility is now available in RSAs. The Tapa RSA in Perak was the first RSA on a Malaysian expressway to provide wireless broadband internet facilities. Lay-by a Euro lay-by is a basic parking lots beside the expressways that may also have public toilets and baths, fruit stall, huts and public telephones. However, some lay may have a few food stalls and petrol stations. Usually, there are about two lay in between every two RSAs. Overhead restaurants A Euro overhead restaurants are special RSAs with restaurants above the expressway. Unlike typical laybys and RSAs which are only accessible in one-way direction only, an overhead restaurant is accessible from both directions of the expressway. Currently, 
There are three overhead bridges in Malaysia, Sungai Below, Air Karo and USJ. The Plus Art Gallery is located in Air Karo Overhead Bridge Restaurant. Customer Service Center A Euro Every Toll Plaza in Malaysia has a customer service center. This center includes highway maps, toll fare lists, information counters, touch and go card reload counters, touch and go and smart TAG sales counters and more. Touch and go hub A Euro The hub for the touch and go and smart TAG sales. Touch and go spot A Euro The spot for the touch and go and smart TAG sales counter. Usually can be found at all petrol stations. Touch a Euro and go drive through purchase and refill card lane a Euro touch and go card users can refill existing or purchase new touch and go cards directly from the lane without the hassle of going to customer service centers. This touch and go POS lane are available at all expressways on the Plus Expressway network. Vista Point a Euro Vista Points are special parking areas that allow motorists to see scenic views of the expressway. Available only at Sanewang and Ipo. Motorcycle shelter A Euro motorcycle shelters provide protection and shelter for motorcyclists from heavy rain. Usually, most motorcycle shelters are located below overhead bridges, but some may be special booths. Motorcycle lane A Euro In some parts of the whole expressway, there is an additional lane designated for motorcycles. These lanes are usually about half the width of a normal lane on the north-south expressway and are positioned on the extreme left side of the main carriageway in each direction of travel. These special lanes are found in Shah Alam Expressway, Butterworth Kulam Expressway, Federal Highway and Guthrie Corridor Expressway, Emergency Phones A Euro Emergency Phones are located every two kilometers along interstate expressways. Useful if there are breakdowns on the expressway. Attendants from the nearest toll plaza will tow the broken cars to the nearest workshops. Tunnel emergency exits A Euro tunnel emergency exits are located every one kilometer along expressway tunnels, such as Smart Tunnel, Penchala Tunnel on Sprint Expressway, Menra Tunnel on North South Expressway and Genting Sempa Tunnel on Kuala Lumpur Karak Expressway. Highway Hotline Service A Euro Every Expressway is a hotline service. Highway Patrol Unit A Euro Every Expressway is a Highway Patrol Unit. Highway Helicopter Patrol Unit A Euro This unit is available at all plus expressway networks only. Traffic Control and Surveillance System A Euro The Traffic Control and Surveillance System comprises a number of traffic monitoring systems such as Traffic Closed Circuit Television, Traffic Monitoring Center, Variable Message Systems and Vehicles Breakdown Sensors. Integrated Transport Information System A Euro This system is normally found in the Klang Valley, Penang and Iskandar Malaysia Jaya Bahru. Road Transport Department Enforcement Stations A Euro These stations can be found at Karak Expressway and East Coast Expressway. These JPJ enforcement stations have weighing bridges to detect heavy vehicles. Police Watch Tower A Euro These towers can be found at all interstate expressways in Malaysia to monitor traffic situations during festive seasons. Warning Lights A Euro These yellow lights can be found in hazardous and accident areas. Automated Enforcement System A Euro These systems can be found at accident-prone areas in the red light camera at traffic light junctions. Speed Indicator Display A Euro These systems can be found at the Keringkai link of the Sprint Expressway to remind drivers in the event they are exceeding the permitted speed limit not to do so. Runaway Truck Ramp A Euro A traffic device that enables vehicles having braking problems to stop safely. These systems are found at mountainous areas such as at nearby Apo North Toll Plaza Interchange along the Northern Euro South Expressway Northern Route. Types of expressway interchanges in Malaysia. These are the different types of expressway interchanges in Malaysia. Trumpet interchange A Euro It is usually found in every closed toll system expressway like the North South Expressway and East Coast Expressway. The trumpet design is popular as a highway exit with toll booths for the closed toll system because of the minimum construction cost of its toll booths. Clover Leaf Interchange A Euro It is more popular in Malaysia to link to overlapping expressways because of its relatively cheaper cost. The biggest Clover Leaf Highway Interchange in Malaysia is Bulletin Dara Lisan aka Shah Alam Clover Leaf Interchange of Federal Highway in Shah Alam, Selangor. 
diamond interchange a euro it is more popular in Malaysia to join the expressway crossing over municipal roads. Multi-level stack diamond interchange a euro it is a diamond interchange upgraded into a multi-level interchange. Examples include the Banda Sunway interchange between Damans Rapachong Expressway and New Pantai Expressway in Petaling Jawa. Diverging Diamond Interchange a Euro This is a rare type of diamond interchange which involves temporary lane changes, that is from left-hand traffic to right and then back to the left. Like SPUI, it allows traffic from two opposite directions to turn right at the same time but does not allow traffic to go straight ahead. Examples include the Freescale Interchange at Damans Rapachong Expressway. Single Point Urban Interchange A Euro SPUI interchange is nearly similar with a typical diamond interchange but it allows traffic from two opposite directions to turn right at the same time. However, it does not allow traffic to go straight. Examples include the Danga City Mall Interchange at Skdi Highway slash Jabaru in a ring road. Roundabout Interchange A Euro Very popular in Malaysia. Parklong Interchange A Euro An example of this is the Port Dixon Interchange on the North-South Expressway and Kappa Interchange on the new North Klang Straits Bypass. Directional T Interchange A Euro These interchanges are found at Nalai North and Nalai Interchanges of North-South Expressway and also Sesha Alam Interchange and Bikit Lunjan Interchange on New Klang Valley Expressway. Stacked interchange a Euro examples of these are the Penchala interchange on the Damans Rapachong Expressway and Penchala link of the Sprint Expressway. Multi-level stacked interchange a Euro examples of these are the Impang interchange on the Jalan Ampang and the Impang flyover of the Kuala Lumpur Middle Ring Road 2. Multi-level stacked roundabout a Euro There are three level and four level roundabouts found in Malaysia. Examples of four-level roundabouts include the Sajambut Interchange of Kuala Lumpur Awong Highway and Kaya Japan Interchange of New Pantai Expressway. W-Turn Interchange A Euro These interchanges found at Tampoi North Interchange on the Skdi Highway and Face Gudang Highway. Left and Left Art Junction A Euro These junctions restrict the ingress and egress of the minor roads. They only permit left turn entries. To turn to opposite direction, Motorists may need to make a U-turn on the expressway. These junctions are very common in urban expressways such as in Sungai Besi Expressway and Damans Rapachong Expressway. Safety. Equal speed limits equals. The default national speed limit on Malaysian expressways is 110 km per hour, but in certain areas a lower speed limit or 80 km per hour is applied, especially in single carriageway expressway large urban areas, crosswinds, heavy traffic and in dangerous mountainous routes and 60 km per hour is applied 1 km before the toll plaza speed traps are also deployed by the Malaysian police at many places along the expressways. Equals types of vehicles not allowed to enter an expressway equals plus expressways networks and east coast expressway, bicycles, steamroller, tractors, excavators and backhoos. North-South Expressway Northern Route, New Klang Valley Expressway, Federal Highway, Monday to Friday from 6.30 am to 9.30 am, heavy vehicles weighing 10,000 kg or more. Ampang Kuala Lumpur Elevated Highway, Bicycles. Majau Expressway, Bicycles. Smart Tunnel, Motorcycles and Bicycles, Bus, Steamroller, Heavy Vehicles like Lorries, Trailers, etc. Tractors, excavators, and backhoos. Equals accidents equals Malaysian expressways are potential sites of fatal highway accidents in Malaysia, especially during festive seasons. However, accidents in Malaysia happen on federal, state, and municipal roads. Most road accidents are caused by the attitude of certain road users who drive dangerously over the speed limit. List of accident prone areas in Malaysian tolled expressways and highways, KM25 of Gunung Palai near Kulai, Jaron North South Expressway Southern South, KM171 to 141 of Tangkok, Pago Stretch on North South Expressway Southern South, KM of Jalan Duta Toll Plaza, Kuala Lumpur on North South Expressway Northern Route. KM 293 to 310 of North South Expressway Northern Route from Gopeng Interchange to Tarpa Interchange, KM 256 of Old Jelapang Toll Plaza, 
Parak on North South Expressway Northern Route, KM2 of North South Expressway Northern Route from Menra Tunnel to Sungai Parak Rest and Service Area, Parak, KM30 to 35 of Gombak, Selangor on Kuala Lumpur Karak Expressway. Sungai Besi Sharp Corner Flyover Bridge from Jalandawan Bahasa on Kuala Lumpur Middle Ring Road 1 towards Kuala Lumpur Saremban Expressway, KM of Klernajar on Damansra Pachong Expressway near Klernajar LRT Stations, KM of Pachong on Damansra Pachong Expressway near Tractors Malaysia, KM of Damansra Uterma Section 14 on Sprint Expressway. Subang Jara also known as Pesai Aran T1 Interchange on the Railway Bridge Corner at the exit of Federal Highway, KM2 of the East Coast Expressway Phase 2 from Jaba to Kuala Teranganu. Equals during workdays peak hours equals, during workdays or peak hours, there are many restricted routes on the expressways especially in the Klang Valley and Penang to ease congestion during peak hours in the morning such as Federal Highway, New Klang Valley Expressway, North-South Expressway Northern Route and Penang Bridge. Heavy vehicles with laden and unladen heavy vehicles weighing 10,000 kg or more are not allowed to enter the expressway between 6.30 a.m. until 9.30 a.m. on Monday to Friday. A compound fines will be issued to heavy vehicles which flouted the rule. Equals during festive seasons equals, during festive seasons such as Chinese New Year, Depavali, Christmas and Hari Raya. Activities such as construction, road repairs and maintenance works have been temporarily stopped to ensure a smoother traffic flow on the expressways. Meanwhile, heavy goods vehicles such as logging trucks, cement trucks, container trucks, construction materials trucks and other heavy goods vehicles are banned from using roads, highways and expressways during festive seasons. A massive nationwide operation known as Ops Selamat is held annually by the Malaysian police to ensure safety on all roads in Malaysia during festive seasons. To smooth the traffic flow during peak periods in the festive seasons, a travel time advisory has been set up at all interstate expressways such as Plus Expressways Network and East Coast Expressway. Equals automated enforcement system equals the automated enforcement system is the road safety enforcement system to monitor all federal roads, highways and expressways in Malaysia. This system came into effect on September 22, 2012. Type of AES, speed light camera, red light camera. Equals natural hazards equals, other hazardous conditions on expressways include landslides, crosswinds, fog, storms, road damages, Paddy burning activities and flash floods. List of landslide prone areas KM of Picket Lunge and Jalanduta on North South Expressway Northern Route, KM of Picket Lunge and between Kopidam and Sra Picket Lunge and on New Klang Valley Expressway, KM of Gulay Tempurung between Gopeng Tarpa on North South Expressway Northern Route, KM of Picket Mura between Picket Mura Taping on North South Expressway Northern Route. KM of Sungai Parak Jelapang Toll Plaza on North South Expressway Northern Route, KM of Picket Berapit between Changkot Jering Kuala Kangsar on North South Expressway Northern Route, KM of Gombak Genting Semper on Karak Expressway, KM of Picket Tinggi Bentong on Karak Expressway, KM of Gunung. Merkel between Pago Yongpeng on North South Expressway Southern Route, KM of Pachong Siri Kembangan on Damansra Pachong Expressway near Pachong Selatan Toll Plaza, KM 15 of Skdi Sinai on North South Expressway Southern Route near Skdi Toll Plaza. List of crosswind prone areas, KM of Sinawang Pedas Lingi on North South Expressway Southern Route, KM of Alagaja Air Karo on North South Expressway Southern Route, KM along East Coast Expressway. List of flash flood prone areas. KM 15 of Batu Tegal Interchange on Federal Highway, KM of Shah Alam Interchange on New Klang Valley Expressway, KM of Sungai Besi on Sungai Besi Expressway near Razak Mansion, KM of Seberang Jaya Interchange Underpass on Butterworth Kulam Expressway near Car 4 Seberang Jaya, KM of Ala Star, Jitra of the North South Expressway Northern Route, KM 173.9-171.9 of Jazin, Melaka and Tangkok. Jaya on North South Expressway Southern Route. Controversial issues There are several controversial issues regarding the construction of expressways. The main issue is the increase of toll rates, 
which can be a huge burden especially for residents of Kuala Lumpur and the surrounding Klang Valley conurbation. There are also various parties who question the capability of the numerous expressways in Klang Valley to overcome traffic congestion, which does not show signs of improvement with the construction of new expressways. Three chief factors were blamed for the urban expressway congestion, namely the short-sighted policies by the authorities, greedy property developers, and the failure of local municipal councils to control the development in the Klang Valley. There are also several protests being held by residents of some housing areas being affected by several planned expressways, such as the Sungai Besi Euro Ulukhelang Expressway, Damansra Shah Alam Highway and Kinrara Damansra Expressway. Environmental issues such as road noise and worsening congestion became the chief reasons of those protests. Other controversial issues include the following, the cracks found on beams on the Kepong flyover in Kuala Lumpur Middle Ring Road 2 on August 10, 2004. The flyover which collapsed on Sesha Alam Interchange in New Klang Valley Expressway during construction on July 10, 2005, where, tragically, about four lives were lost. The eight fallen I-beams at the Pajam Interchange in Negri Sembilan during the construction of the Kajang Seremban Highway on the night of September 27, 2007. The ramp collapse at the Bachu Maung Interchange at Bachu Maung side of the Penang Second Bridge during construction on June 6, 2013 killing one person. Interesting facts, the Tanjung Malam Slim River Toll Road is the first tolled highway in Malaysia. The Sultan Yaya Petra Bridge is the first toll bridge in Malaysia. Plus Expressways is the largest highway concessionaries operator company in Malaysia, also the largest listed toll expressway operator in Southeast Asia, Asia, and the eighth largest in the world. The second largest is Pralintas. The longest bridge in Malaysia is Sultan Abdul Halim Muadzam Shah Bridge with a total length 24 kilometers. The second longest bridge is Penang Bridge with a total length 13.5 kilometers. The longest expressway in Malaysia is North South Expressway with a total length 966 km. The longest expressway river bridge in Malaysia is the Sungai Jawa Bridge on Sinai Desa Expressway with a total length 1.7 km. The bridge also the longest single plane cable state bridge in Malaysia. The section between Kahaya Baru and Panawa of the Sinai Desa Expressway is built as a two-lane single carriageway making the first two-lane controlled access expressway in Malaysia. The first cable stayed land bridge in Malaysia is the LDP Cable Stayed Bridge at the Freescale Interchange on Damansra Pachong Expressway with a total length 1.1 km. The most expensive section of the expressway is the Gopeng Tarpa section on the North-South Expressway Northern Route. At room 200 million, it translates to room 20 million per kilometer. Embankment strengthening is the major contributor for this escalating cost. The largest toll plaza in Malaysia is Banda Kasha Plus Toll Plaza in Penang Second Bridge with over 28 lanes. The second largest toll plaza is Sungai Besi Toll Plaza in North South Expressway Southern Route with over 18 lanes. The highest toll plaza in Malaysia is Stool Toll Plaza in Kajang Seremban Highway located at the hilly top of Gunung Mountain Seremban at 258 meters above sea level. Banda Suena Putra Interchange on North-South Expressway Central Link and South Klang Valley Expressway is the only expressway interchange in Malaysia to have two toll plazas. The North-South Expressway is the first expressway in Malaysia that provided an overhead bridge restaurant. The busiest expressway in Malaysia is Federal Highway Route from Klang to Kuala Lumpur. Federal Highway Route is the first highway in Malaysia to have a motorcycle lane. The first highway tunnel in Malaysia is Genting Sempu Tunnel on Kuala Lumpur Karak Expressway. The first elevated highway in Malaysia is Ampang Kuala Lumpur Elevated Highway. The longest flyover bridge in Malaysia is Batu Tiga Flyover on North South Expressway Central Link. Smart Tunnel, is the longest motorway tunnel, as well as the first double-deck tunnel and the first tunnel that has a stormwater tunnel and a motorway tunnel in Malaysia. The widest tunnel in Malaysia is Penchala Tunnel on Penchala Link of Sprint Expressway. The first expressway with double-decked carriageway in Malaysia is Keringkai Link on Sprint Expressway. 
The Kuala Lumpur Karak Expressway is the only expressway in Malaysia has a separate carriageway at Genting Sempa in Selangor Pahang border due to their geographical locations. The biggest clover leaf highway interchange in Malaysia is Bulletin Daralisan Interchange of Federal Highway Route and Communing Shah Alam Highway in Shah Alam, Selangor. The largest highway interchange in Malaysia is Gelago Complex Interchange at Penang Bridge. The Plus Speedway is the first go-kart circuit in the Malaysian Expressways. The circuit is located near the USJ Rest and Service Area on North-South Expressway Central Link. Tarpa Rest and Service Area on North-South Expressway Northern Route in Perak is the first rest and service area in the Malaysian Expressway to have wireless broadband internet facilities. The Plus Art Gallery in Air Karo Overhead Bridge Restaurant North South Expressway Southern Route is the first highway art gallery in Malaysia. The Paraising Rest and Service Area on the East Coast Expressway is the biggest rest and service area on the ECE network. It is only accessible by the Directional T Interchange to R and R in which it is probably the only one of its type in Malaysia. The largest advertising board on the Malaysian Expressways is the Giant Wow Kite Spectacular Advertising Board on the North-South Expressway Southern Route near Sungai Besi and the North-South Expressway Central Link near Padrejua. While most toll expressways in Malaysia use green sign boards with white letters, the Meter Corp Expressway networks use blue sign boards instead, as if they are municipal expressways. Before 2007, all federally funded expressways have no exit numbering system. However, the exit number system similar to toll expressways was introduced in 2007 exclusively for Federal Highway Route, thus making the Federal Highway as the first Federal Expressway with Expressway Exit Numbering System. Tan Salahuddin Bridge is the first and currently the only toll expressway in the East Malaysia, while almost all toll expressways are built in the peninsula Malaysia. The Tan Salahuddin Bridge is also the only toll expressway without any grade separated interchanges. The Matrap Rest and Service Area at the North South Expressway Southern Routes is the first fully air conditioned rest area in Malaysia. The Sungai Perak Rest and Service Area at the North South Expressway Northern Route in Perak is the first rest and service area in the Malaysian Expressway to have an eco management theme known as the Green Trail, or Rejakajul. Padraja Cyberjail Expressway Route is the first future federal highway on multimedia super corridor. Plus Miles is the first and only toll rebate loyalty program in the Malaysian Expressways. Shah Alam is the first and currently the only city in Malaysia to have its own municipal route numbering system, while other municipal routes in Malaysia do not bear any route numbering scheme. The longest closed toll collection system coverage in Malaysia is from Jura Toll Plaza to Skdi Toll Plaza, which runs through the North-South Expressway Northern Route, New Klang Valley Expressway, North-South Expressway Central Link and North-South Expressway Southern Route. The North-South Expressway Northern Route is the first and currently the only expressway in Malaysia to have a runaway truck ramp near Jelapang, Ipoh. There is one semi-tunnel on the east-west highway from Jerik. Parak to Jelly, Clanton. It is probably the only one of its type in Malaysia. The first true two lane expressway with full access control in Malaysia is the Kahaya Baru Panawa section of the Sinai Desa Ra Expressway. The Jai Baru Eastern Dispersal Link Expressway is the only expressway in Malaysia has a controlled access toll free expressway. The Kota Peru Kuala Krai Expressway, currently under construction, will be the first state-owned controlled access expressway once completed. List of expressways and highways in Malaysia Spreadsheet of toll roads in Malaysia Malaysian expressways in popular culture equals Films equals, These films were filmed mainly on Malaysian expressways equals Televisions equals Dramas Documentary equals Video games equals, Burnout Dominator the Spiritual City track is based on the real-life Kuala Lumpur City, with signboards leading to some expressways such as North-South Expressway Southern Route and Sprint Expressway. Gallery. See also, Road Signs in Malaysia, National Speed Limits, Malaysian Federal Roads System, Malaysian Highway Authority, Malaysian State Roads System, Multilane Free Flow, Electronic Tool Collection, Tiras Technology, Highway, Driveway. 
freeway, motorway, autobahn, auto routes of France, controlled access highway, interstate highway system, expressways of Japan, expressways of China, Asian highway network. References External links, Malaysian Highway Authority official page, Malaysian Highway Authority traffic information page. Travel Smarter Malaysian Highway Concessionaires Company Association Highway Information Page, plus Malaysia Bahad, Concession Holder for, North South Expressway, Malaysia Singapore Second Link, North South Expressway Central Link, Saramban Port Dixon Highway, Butterworth Kulam Expressway, Penang Bridge. ANIH Bahad, Concession Holder for, Karak Expressway, East Coast Expressway, Kuala Lumpur Saremban Expressway, East West Link Expressway. Gamuda Bahad, concession holder for Sprint, Sprint Expressway, Lightrack, Damansra Pachong Expressway, KESAS, Shah Alam Expressway, Smart, Smart Tunnel. Road Builder, concession holder for Bezraya, Sungai Besi Expressway, NPE, New Pantai Expressway, LEKAS, Kajang Saremban Highway. Grand Saga website, Propel Bahad, concession holder for highway maintenance in Malaysia, motorways exit list, exit list of expressway in Malaysia, community PTT Zello Channel Buri Utara Selatan.